Hello, everyone. Welcome to this episode: How to create a multispectral imagery and a colorful composite image in the series of jazz and remote sensing. This series is brought to you by the Faculty of Forestry, the University of British Columbia. I'm Hai Tao Li. I will be your guide. We will cover two topics: how to create a multispectral imagery, and how to observe the true colors and false colors composite imagery. Make sure you have access to ArcGIS Pro and Landsat 8 imagery. It's okay to use another remote sensing data such as Modest, Aster, or Spot. You can find lots of satellite imagery at Earth Explorer. We also have the video talk about how to download data from this website. This is the Landsat 8 image download from the Earth Explorer. Each spectral band is saved as a single TIF file. Each band displayed as a grayscale image. To create a color image, we need a composite image and load three bands to red, green, and blue channels. Let's build a composite image. Select composite band. Input the images we want. Select all the band we want, and run. The multispectral component image is created and auto loaded to the ArcGIS Pro. It show up with three bands. Go to the Image properties, source, and band metadata. We can find the total number of band of this composite image. The default band order is band one, two, three, four, red, green, and blue. To display the true color features, we need to load the right band. To do it, we need to check the wavelength of each band first. Band four's wavelength is red. Band three is green, band two is blue. So these three are what we want. How can we change the band? Select the image. Go to the appearance, symbology, RGB. Or we can click here. Select band four, for red. Three, for green. And two for blue. If the image is too dark or bright, we can stretch the display's value. ArcGIS Pro provides several methods. Let's try the standard deviation. It looks better. The color is same as what human eyes see in nature, so we call it true color image. However, it may not be the best way to show up some object we are interested in. Especially the wavelengths outside of the visible light. So we choose different band to color object and display more information on the image. For example, the typical false color combination is infrared, red, and green to RGB. It is five, four, and three for the land set eight. Green vegetation is ten red. It is easiest to identify if the red-colored vegetation map is not enough to convince you. Let's try another example. We noticed that both the cloud and the snow on these images are white. Some constructions have the same color. It is easiest to tell the clouds above the city, but it's very difficult to separate cloud and the snow. Let's try the different way. Use band eleven, seven, and five. Now we can very clearly see the difference between the cloud and the snow on the mountain area, and、uh, and the construction is still white. Now we can separate these three white. Object. I'm not going to discuss the physical reasons behind it. Try all the possibility, and you can find the best ways to display your image. Here list some common band combinations to for four color composite. Make sure to check the wavelength, the band number, 
may vary. The band combinations could be from any data format, such as a spectral band from a different set line. The results from the image analyzing, such as principal component analyzing, and others. Thanks for your watching. Feel free to ask questions. Here is the contact information.